Okay, uh, as I told you in the title of the uh, video, I'm going to give you a little, a little uh, information about this uh, rotor tiller that I got at uh, Lowe's. It's a, uh, a, I guess it's a husk varna, isn't that right? Uh, I guess the, the. Uh, I think that's the brand name. Here it is, right here. Come over here and take a picture of this. Okay, the reason that I'm that I'm wanting to tell you about this is because this is the second one that I've had. Now I run a pretty extensive garden, uh, you know, and I use this thing a lot. I have rotor tillers to also that go behind the tractor and. Uh, but the thing is that this is very handy for cultivating and for small places. I'm cultivating near these Vidalia onions right now. But what I, I wanted to give you an idea of what I think of it. This thing here is going to cost you about $800 or $850 or something like that. What do I think of it? Okay, I like the rotor tiller. Uh, for the price and for what's available, which there's not much available around here, you can, there's just not any much tillers available. They got some cheaper ones at Walmart uh, that I haven't bothered with, but I want to tell you about a problem with this rotor tiller. Okay, this rotor tiller is frozen in this gear that it's in, which happens to be the gear that I like it in. Uh, it, it has a, a forward a reverse and a fat and a, a fast forward and a neutral but it it's stuck right here it won't move so I, I've only got one gear here I'm, I'm in this gear all the time I can't reverse it and I can live with that because it happens to be the most useful gear okay I tried to find out from Husqvarna I got on the web I did everything I could to find out what was wrong with it and how I could fix it the information from the company and is just not there you know that I couldn't find it so I kept talking to my local Husqvarna dealer who's a chainsaw dealer and they didn't have much advice they told me to make sure I had uh, gear oil in there and all that kind of stuff and the transmissions what the problem the problem is it won't shift it won't shift this is the gift gear shift right here and it's frozen and what it did was it at first it got hard to do and then it got harder and then it wouldn't do at all this one's three years old at about one year in I started having trouble with the gear shift okay I finally got a mechanic at the chainsaw shop I think that gave me the true story about this this machine does not have a sealed transmission this is the where all the business goes on down here this is where the gears are down in this box here but if you'll look at this seam right here this is not a, a sealed unit it's sealed but it's not made that way it's made in two halves this thing here comes apart like this right on this seam when you take this machine apart it breaks in half right here now the older more expensive machines had the unit was a, it was one piece it didn't come apart therefore moisture couldn't get in there and moisture apparently is what's causing this it's causing the gears to rust up and make it difficult to shift okay what the man told me finally was this when rain and water hits on here right in here it it uh it runs down in that transmission and it mixes with the oil and it causes rust down in there in that unit. I do not know whether this is the problem. I know that the man told me that and he told me that he could fix it and I said how much and he said he have to break it apart and I think he said about $150. The machine is $850. I may let them do that but right now I'm in the beginning of my season and I need this rotor tiller almost every day okay so maybe that's the problem but by the way the first one that I had 
went bad in the same area and then it got where it wouldn't work at all. I think I got about five years out of it. Okay, for $850, if you're a very big gardener at all and you can get three years out of it, that's not bad. You know, you're going to get your money's worth out of it. But I think this thing is going to keep on working for quite a while, but it, I just can't reverse it. That means you've got to be careful where you run it forward because you might get in a spot where you can't get out of it if you can't get it in reverse. That's my assessment of what's going on. The motor still works very well. Cranks up good. The, the tines do a good job. So my recommendation is, okay, I'm gonna take some of the blame for it because I did not take this rotor tiller in every day out of the rain whenever it rained. So it got rained on, but I didn't know. See, they put it. They put a seal in there. The, the mechanic told me they put these two halves of this transmission together and they seal it with some kind of seal in here. Some kind of uh, something like uh, silicone or something that keeps it from getting wet. But after a while, this dries out. Would I recommend that you buy this rotor tiller? Yes, I would. But I would recommend that you never let it stay in the rain. And I'm not saying I know for a certainty that that's what the problem is. It may have been I, it may have been in the literature that came with a machine that they said don't leave it in the rain. I don't remember, don't know, and never read that. But I'm bad about not reading the literature that they give with these machines. But that's my assessment of the Husqvarna rotor tiller, the kind that you get at Lowe's, Home Depot, I guess, for about $850. And I don't know of a, a better rotor tiller for that kind of price. And so I would say uh, beware of this problem uh, with rain getting on it. And if you get one, take it inside. Don't ever let rain get on it. And maybe it'll be just fine. So that's my assessment uh, of the rotor tiller. And I hope that this information helps you.